White Sox hosting the Indians on Wednesday night. And if this was 10 years ago, I'd say something like, who let the dogs out? But it's 10 years later, so I'm not going to say that. Pick it up in the bottom of the first. The White Sox already up 2-1. Justin Masterson dealing to A.J. Pruszynski with two men aboard, and Pruszynski rattles this one into the right field corner. It's an RBI double scoring Adam Dunn, and the White Sox extend their lead. It's now 3-1. As we move top four, Brian Amagroso pitching in relief of Hector Santiago, the starter, and now facing Jason Kipnis with the bases loaded. Right back up the middle. It's through a base hit. Here comes Chisinau to score. Carrera on his heels will score the tying run, and we're back to even a three apiece. Let's move to the bottom of the fifth. The White Sox reclaim the lead courtesy of Alexei Ramirez. With a man at second, he drills the tie-breaking double. This one scrapes off the wall. A.J. Pruszynski comes around to score, and the White Sox back on top. It's now 4-3. As we move to the top of the six, some trouble for White Sox reliever Nate Jones facing Carlos Santana. Bases loaded, and Jones issues the free pass. That forces home Shinsu Chu, and we're all tied again at four runs apiece. Top seven now, Matt Thornton in a jam. Second and third, just one away. Chu grounds one to the right side, but it scores Lou Marson with the tie-breaking run. The throw to home is late. The Indians on top, 5-4. As we move to the top of the eighth, Brett Myers, the sixth pitcher of the night for Chicago, facing Vinny Rotino. Rotino drives it deep center. Wise racing back. It's over his head and gone. Vinny Rotino powers the Indians to a 2 1 lead with his solo shot to deep center field. Number three for him. That makes it 6 4 as we go to the bottom of the ninth. Chris Perez in for the save, facing Paul Canerco, who represents the tying run. But Canerco can only manage the pop out to shallow left field. That's how this one ends as the Indians come back and earn the 6-4 win. And combined with the Tigers winning earlier in the night, the White Sox now drop to one game back of Detroit in the AL Central. It's the first time since July 23rd that the White Sox have been out of first place. Chicago pitching allowed a whopping 12 walks, but somehow managed to keep this game tied heading into the seventh inning.